Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Exciting day here at Art of the Image because I got another package in. I just love getting photo gear in. I don't know if you can tell what this looks like, but I got a pretty good idea where this, what, what this is based on the, uh, the label. It came from the Gratis Group, who are the people behind Impact, Impact Studios, backgrounds, lighting, and all that sort of thing. And um, let's just see the easiest way to get this open. Looks like we're already partly open on the top, maybe. And I don't want to damage it, because as you'll see, this is a backdrop of sorts. And we don't want to cut anything. So. Here we go. I think that's all the paperwork out of there. So we've got the Impact 5x7 Chroma Key Blue Green. It says 5x7 uh, Collapsible Chroma Blue Green. So what this is, is a 5 foot by 7 foot pop-up. Think of those reflectors you have or the speed light soft boxes that you twist them and they fold down into a much smaller size. This pops up to five by seven. I have a Botero uh, kind of grayish photography background like that, but this is a five by seven chroma key. One side's blue, one side's green. Let's get it open and show you. Got some a big bag on the one end of it here. I'm assuming there is a, well, we don't. We don't really care about the plastic anyways. We're not hanging on to that. So it comes in a nice case. So this, what you're seeing here is actually the case for the um, chroma key collapsible five by seven background. It's quite a mouthful. Let's just call it the background at the moment. So another piece of plastic there, which is kind of nice because it, it makes you realize that A, it's new, and B, that uh, it's not going to come out of a dusty warehouse or something. So nice that it's like that. So this is what it is folded up. And you can see the blue side there. And then you could see the green side there. Now, this could be a little interesting because I'm going to move the coffee table out of the way because this is going to come up pretty big. As I said, it's a 5 by 7 There we go. Backdrop. I'm going right to the ceiling there. Let's put it up on the couch here. There's the green side, which is probably the side I'm going to use the most of. But you could see now that I'm standing in front of a chroma key background. So that is the chroma key green. And we'll turn it over for you so you could see but um, the full blue. But it has a full blue backdrop. And this, I can tell you right now, just from unboxing it and moving it around, this is a nice quality um, collapsible backdrop. I've seen some cheaper ones. This is nice quality. The stitching, the sewing, everything on here is very nice quality. It's got two Velcro tabs, one up there, one over here. Actually, it doesn't have two. It's got three. So one on each of the long sides and one on the, on the uh, short end. They, I guess they don't put one on the bottom end, but that makes it really easy if you want to suspend it from a light stand or if you want to suspend it from a tripod, if you want to suspend it from a heavier light stand, whatever you're going to suspend it from, or even you can suspend it from a rafter or something like that. And you can basically put a pop-up studio anywhere. Really handy if you're going out on location, and you want to do some green screen work. Or if you want to go out on location and do some green screen work for photography, not just videography. So very impressed with the quality of this thing. I'm going to be doing some more videos to show you it in use. I'll probably do some with the kids, with Lily and Ella, using the green screen to swap out backgrounds on them for photography, as well as for videos. Lily loves to do rainbow loom videos. I don't know if you have any kids and you've seen the rainbow loom stuff out there, but Lily's really into that. Maybe we'll do some with her with the background of Star Wars or something different. She'll like that. She'd think that was really cool. Now, for those of you that have never tried to collapse one of these 5x7 backdrops, I know because my Botero one, I always forget how to do it. But it's fairly easy once you get the hang of it. You grab each end and you fold it kind of like a taco. 
And then what you want to do is you want to pass one hand under the other and the other hand over, kind of like you're going hip to hip with the opposite hands. And you'll watch, it will fold itself. Well, let's show you. It's easier always to show you than it is to talk about it. So I'm going to take the one end and I'm going to take the other end. So we take this one first and then we'll go over here and grab the other end. So I've got each end and I fold it like a taco. So we're in half. And then all I got to do is pass the one arm here and the other arm there. And you could see it just popped down. It's quite easy. It took me a matter of, what, seconds there, really. So, and then that's of the size. And then so if I reach over here where I'd thrown, put the uh, cover on the floor. And the cover, you want to keep your cover simply because this will, the cover is a convenient way to keep it folded down because it keeps it, holds it in shape. And then you just zip it back up. Careful not to catch your material in the, in the cover. And when you're doing, when you're, when you do that final hoop, you just want, kind of want to run your hands along and make sure that it's, they're all the same. Just kind of work with it for a second until it's all the same size for the, um, the hoop. But you can see that I took that down in a matter of seconds. So it's really easy. I mean, so here it is in the bag. You take it out, you're on location. This is it right here. It pops up in seconds as well. You pop it up, boom, like so. There you go. She's set up. So I'm gonna grab the one side. We wanna fold it in half like a taco. So I'm gonna grab the one side and then the other side. And looks like we got her going there. And then what I wanna do is pass one hand behind the other, like so. And it should spring into shape. And as you could see there, it didn't collapse exactly as well shape-wise this time. But you just kind of work it a little bit until all the rings are roughly the same size there. And then you can take your bag and put it back into the case, which holds it in place. Not trying to rhyme there. Pull the Dr. Seuss on you. There we go, back down again. Nice and portable, easy enough for you to toss into the car. You know, the nice thing is the plastic clear window on here lets you know if you've got a few things stored, which one you're looking at without having to pop it up and look at it. So that is the Impact 5x7 collapsible chroma key backdrop. Blue on one side, green on the other, and you saw how fast you could pop that up. A matter of seconds, so you go on location, boom, up it goes. You want to use part of your house temporarily, it's not permanent, pop it up, take it down in no time. I'll put the link below so you can check them out. Very versatile, something I think you're really going to like having in your kit. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon.